The third cohort of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council is now in place with members expected to be 100% committed to promoting a conducive business environment in Nigeria. At the inaugural meeting of the Council at the Presidential Villa Abuja, Vice President Kashim Shatima implored members to align themselves effortlessly with the eight-point renewed hope agenda of the Tinubu administration. State House correspondent Abdurrahman Jibrila reports. Seamlessly with the vision of President Tinubu and the eight-point renewed hope agenda, Vice President Kashim Shatima said commitment to fostering a conducive business environment is a reflection of a strong political will driving the transformative initiatives which directly contribute to the success of a shared economic prosperity as a nation. Recalling that emerging markets, particularly in Africa, were slowed down in the face of global economic challenges occasioned by the disruption of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Vice President said heightened geopolitical tension in the West African Sahel coupled with the concerns about national debt sustainability contributed to a slowdown in sub-Saharan Africa's economic growth to 3.6% in 2022. He expressed optimism that Nigeria has remained steadfast in navigating the challenges through its commitment to economic revival and growth at both national and continental levels with 2023 businesses generating over $1 billion in revenue. In celebrating the achievements of these 23 businesses, Vice President Kashim Shatima underscored the need to consider them as the beginning of Nigeria's potential, just as he maintained that all hands must be on deck to foster the growth of more businesses. Special Advisor to the President on Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council and Investment Dr. Jumoke Oduole noted that the Council's mandate is to deliver Nigeria's business environment reform with dual mandate to remove bureaucratic and legislative constraints to doing business and improve the perception about the ease of doing business in Nigeria. We need to support those businesses. We have a cohort, a program that's going to deliver and midwife and support those businesses. We continue to work on our implementing our regulatory reforms, our judicial and legislative reforms. Uh, Nigeria is uh, gradually seeing in the last 10 years a decline in our GDP, over $140 billion uh, in the last 10 years. So, so this is an attempt to bring that back. Of all the big businesses in Africa, over uh, those businesses that have crossed the $1 billion mark, only a few of them, less than 30 are in Nigeria, that represents only 7%. The target is for us to improve on our ranking in terms of providing enabling business uh, facilities so that Nigeria can catch up with the rest of the world in terms of providing facilities for investment and investors so that uh, investment can thrive and uh, businesses can grow. The Council's model aligns with the global best practices and includes a strong performance tracking element that ensures ministries, departments, and agencies are accountable for reform implementation. From the State House, Abraham Jibrila, NTA News.